Yo, yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Ryan here and today I'm going to shatter some myths for you. I'm gonna tell you the truth, all the things you need to know about actually whether or not you should buy a suit. Now, if you're anything like me, when you got into fashion, maybe you've been doing this a while, maybe you're new, you probably searched online or searched on YouTube and you found a lot of guys teaching men's fashion and telling you what to get. Well, everybody says the first thing you should get is a good suit. I call bullshit on that. You don't need a suit anymore. And that's gonna piss a lot of people off. I'm saying that you don't ever need to buy yourself a suit unless you really, really want to and you kinda know what you're doing. Now why would I say that? A suit is like the cornerstone of every men's wardrobe. A suit is, you know, the pinnacle. This, everybody looks good in a suit. Well that's not true. So let me get into the first lie being told to you out there about buying a suit. Well, the first lie is that you won't be taken seriously at your current job or at a job you're trying to get. That's bullshit. Even big companies like JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, companies that are on Wall Street, that are dressing, that are known for wearing suits day in and day out, have changed their dress code. JP Morgan had a big thing, it was on Newsweek, Business Insider, basically they said that you're, you're allowed to wear jeans to work, you just have to look respectable and really well put together when you're meeting with a big client. That sent shockwaves across the industry. Now, that is why the lie is that you need a suit to work in these type of companies, well you don't. And 99% of the people don't work on Wall Street and they don't work in big banks, so you work in a regular company, maybe a tech company, maybe a, you know, a lawyer, maybe a, um, a nurse, a doctor, or whatever it may be, you don't need to wear a suit. You can look better doing other things, and I'll get to those in a second. But the big thing is, is you're being told that you have to have a suit to dress the part or look like you are a boss. You don't. You can look better and save yourself a ton of fucking money doing other things, which I'll explain at the end of this video. So that's gonna bring me into lie number two about whether or not you should buy a suit. And that is that you need a suit for certain occasions. Let's say a wedding, let's say a job interview, let's say a funeral. Truth is, you don't. Have you ever actually been to a wedding as of late? The people at weddings dress like shit. They don't even know how to wear a suit, and if they did wear a suit, it's probably two sizes too big, not tailored, and looks like shit. So if you show up wearing a nice tailored outfit, whether it be just a button up and a pair of pants and a nice pair of dress shoes, if it's tailored and fits you properly, you will always look better than the guy wearing the oversized suit. And same goes to lie number one, when you see guys wearing ill-fitting suits in a workplace, they look terrible, they look unkept, they look not put together. This is not what you want. This is not going to command the respect. This is not going to make you look attractive. This is not going to make you look like a boss. So, when it comes to situations like a funeral, weddings, you don't need a suit. You just need to know how to wear business casual properly. And you can do that and save yourself a ton of money. All right, and that's gonna bring me right into lie number three being told to you about whether or not you should buy a suit, and that's that you can get a good fitting suit, a good quality suit for cheap. That is not true. Have you ever been to an H&M or a Zara and seen the quality of their suits? They are okay and they do fit people okay with minimal to no tailoring, but get them dry cleaned a couple times and they fall apart and they fade and they look like shit. So that's, that leads you to the next thing, which is like, okay, I need to invest in a good suit. And this is what made me prompted me to make this video was that I actually wanted to go get a custom suit made and I realized how fucking expensive it was okay even on the low end of custom suiting you're gonna be paying five hundred to seven hundred dollars and that's on the low end these can go upwards of two to three thousand dollars folks so when you're on the low end you're getting like the mediocre wool but you're still getting it custom made so it's gonna fit you good but it's still not great quality so that got me thinking which caused me to make this video. Do we even really need to wear a suit? I looked at what you can get for the price of one suit and I pretty much outfitted an entire wardrobe for around $1,200 that you could probably wear in a business casual environment for two weeks. You can wear at the job interviews, you can wear things. And that's what I wanna hook you guys up with right now is for the price of one mediocre suit, which is around $1,000, and we'll say $1,200, $800 to $1,200 because the items I'm gonna say you can probably find it cheaper and on sale if you do some digging. Either way, this is what you would do. You can go to Express, you can get four shirts they're usually two for 80 they're great quality they're not shit they're not custom but they're not you can get them tailored you can make them fit you really really well that's gonna be like 160 bucks with tailoring maybe 200 dollars and if you're smart you can get coupons you can get that shit for like 50 dollars off if you spend 200 either way your shirts you're gonna get four dress shirts which is a week's worth of shirts for less than 200 bucks then you're gonna get your pants you need to get two or three pairs of pants on average they're like 80 bucks you, you get them tailored you get them tapered you get them cropped at your tailor make them look real fast 
fashion forward, real slim fitting and look awesome. You're talking maybe $100 per pair of pants. So let's say three pairs is 300 bucks. Then you're gonna need your shoes, okay? Get one pair of cap toes and one pair of double monks. You can go, um, you know, mid gray, which is like Johnson and Murphy. They're about $150 each. So you're talking like 300, you can go upwards of 200 if you find some nicer ones. So we're talking about $400 for shoes. So now we're at four, six. So we're at about 800 bucks for like a good base wardrobe. Then you add in Express, you can go, or Express. You can add in a blazer from Express, J. Crew, about 100 to $200. So say 200, so now you're at a thousand. Then you add in the details, the smaller stuff. You can pick up like five slim fitting, stretch fit, logo-less t-shirts that you can wear with your dress slacks and your pants. Those are like two for 30 at Express. They're five bucks at H&M, really cheap. So let's say you said to buy $100 worth of you know, crew neck t-shirts. Then you need a, you know, a couple v-neck or crew neck sweaters. They're like 30 bucks a piece at H&M. Grab yourself a knit tie and a tie bar, you're out 50 bucks. Boom, that's an entire, like two weeks worth of a good business casual wardrobe for less than $1,200, okay? And $1,200 in one shot is very expensive, I get it. But for most people, they'll build that out within a month or two and they will be able to have two weeks worth of badass looking outfits to go to their business casual job and you will never need a fucking suit. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for a suit and I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope I just shattered some myths and some lies for you there about what everybody's saying about suits. And yeah, if you like this video, it's the first time you've seen any of my stuff, definitely subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other stuff because I'm all about helping you guys save money and actually dress to look attractive and be awesome. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy it.